media outlets are reporting that James Gunn, the writer-director who was fired from Marvel by Disney after some controversial tweets, he was kicked off the Guardians of the Galaxy movies and any future Marvel movies he might do, he is now in talks to write and direct Suicide Squad 2 for DC at Warner Brothers. And I already know that a lot of DC fans, um, their feelings about this are divided. There are some that are happy and some that are not happy. I personally think that this could turn out to be a good decision, but believe me, I hear the people who are like concerned, and I'm going to like talk about how I feel about all that. First, I'll start with the people who are concerned and thinking this might not be a good idea. Now, we all know what James Gunn was fired for by Disney because he, I guess 10 years, so, 10 years ago or so, he made, you know, those <laughs> unfortunate tweets, mini tweets you know, about pedophilia and just other things that were, you know, he was taking some stupid pills when he said those things, I think. But, and then there were some pictures that surfaced of him at a party, I think, or something like that. And Disney fired him. Now, I do not think that James Gunn is an actual pedophile. I think he's someone with a dark, sick, twisted sense of humor who doesn't always have I guess the best judgment in how he expresses that. I think he needs, especially at this point, just to you know, keep some things to himself. I don't think he does the things that he talks about, that he jokes about. I just think he likes to say them, you know, talk about them to get a get a rise out of people and, you know, shock people. But I think he's learned his lesson and isn't going to be doing stuff like that anymore. Now, another reason why people might be unhappy is this is not the first time that DC and Warner Brothers has poached a hot, you know, Marvel director to their team. Like, you know, they did the same thing with Joss Whedon, who directed the Avengers movies, they hired him to do Justice League. And Justice League turned out to be, you know, critically disappointing to a lot of people and also financially disappointing. So, you know, they're thinking if this is going to be a redux with James Gunn, you know, it seems like it's a good idea to hire James Gunn to take him from Marvel after they discarded him. You know, here's a hot talent that we can we can use for us. How do they know the same thing's not going to happen again? Another Whedon situation. Well, why I think this could be different is Joss Whedon was hired to do Justice League in the middle of them filming already. Like, Zack Snyder had started it, and it already had, you know, a certain foundation built and a tone that Zack Snyder set up. And then, like, right in the middle of all that, or nearly towards the end, they hired Joss Whedon to change everything and in a very rushed timetable. And so, you know, Joss Whedon and Zack Snyder are two very different kinds of storytellers. And I think forcing all of their different elements into a blender and just having Joss Whedon be tasked to make it all work when, you know, he was coming in when the foundation was different and had to just reshape everything to be something different than it is, was much more difficult than it would have been if Whedon had been there from the beginning to completely shape the movie how he wanted to. I don't really know if anybody could have saved Justice League given those circumstances. It was like, it was a forced collision, a forced blender of two things that didn't work under really short, you know, time constraints. Suicide Squad 2 under the gun would be different because if he's writing the script and now going to direct it, from the ground up, it's going to be one dude's vision. And also in Justice League, there was a lot of studio interference. And, you know, it's possible Warner Brothers may have learned their lesson, you know, and maybe they won't micromanage James Gunn as much with Suicide Squad 2. And again, like I said, it's going to be his movie and not, you know, someone else and he comes in. Now, I know Gavin O'Connor was writing and directing it, but and I guess he isn't anymore. But it's still not the same because Gavin O'Connor hasn't started to film. You know, it's not like this is a movie that's already started production and James Gunn's coming in, in the middle. It's going to be started if James Gunn, you know, directs it and writes it from the ground up again. So it will still be completely, you know, James Gunn's project. It's not going to be, you know, him forcing everything to fit that somebody else started you know, what he wants or what the studio wants under a rushed, you know, timetable. So, you know, I think that this could work out very good. I think James Gunn with his sensibilities could work with a team like the Suicide Squad. And I know that people were speculating that if he were to come to DC, he'd be better suited to cosmic storylines because Guardians of the Galaxy was a cosmic team in Marvel. But like Green Lantern or something for DC. But, you know, James Gunn, given his sensibilities, could definitely work with a group of you know, ragtag criminals like the Suicide Squad. Because that's basically who the Guardians were, right? They were criminals and assassins who became good guys. And that's kind of the same thing the Suicide Squad are now. At least this incarnation of the Suicide Squad. Now, rumors are saying that um, Suicide Squad 2 
might be not necessarily a sequel to the first Suicide Squad that David Ayer directed in 2016, that it will be a complete, you know, reimagining. Now, I don't mean if that's going to be a reboot or if it's going to take place in an alternate universe, but I think it could mean that James Gunn is just going to, like, alter the concept in the team. I did read that a lot of the same characters are going to be included, you know, like Killer Croc, Harley Quinn, Boomerang, and others. They're still going to be in this movie. So I, if... If the same actors and characters are coming over from the first Suicide Squad to the second one, then I think it can't be a complete reboot or reimagining of the franchise because, I don't know, if, 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 if the same actors and characters, and it just wouldn't work. I mean, the audience would be seeing the same people and, you know, they would be asked to pretend like that other movie didn't exist. So I don't really think... I think if he's going to change anything, it's just going to be the way the team dynamics work or the Suicide Squad mission. I think it'll still be in the same universe, so to speak. And it'll be interesting to see what he does with Jared Leto's Joker. If, you know, Jared Leto's Joker is continuing in this movie now that we have this Joaquin Phoenix Joker, too. So, you know, we'll see. A lot of this is rumors. I think it's true that Warner Brothers is in talks with James Gunn to do a Suicide Squad, too, because I think it was confirmed by some, like, outlet already. But, you know if this come will this come to fruition and if it does how will suicide squad 2 you know materialize that remains up in the air but you know i do think that james gunn working on suicide squad 2 can be a good thing we'll see you know i know we'll see if there's a backlash to this because you know there are people who are upset with his tweets you know i don't know if people are going to boycott the movie or anything i don't think they will because i think that if D disney hadn't fired james gunn from guardians of the galaxy volume 3 I don't think that people would have been so angry that they would have refused to see Guardians 3. I think that the Marvel brand was so strong and people loved the Guardians so much, they still would have paid a lot of money to see that movie. But Disney, you know, I guess got scared or just didn't care and, you know, got rid of them. So can Warner Brothers handle, you know, any backlash they get from hiring James Gunn? I think they can. But, you know, what do you think? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.